Hello everyone, this is Jehovah, and this is Minecraft. I want to do a little series, and uh, hopefully you guys will watch with me and join along. Of course, like any Minecraft, we're going to start by punching wood. Alright, so, uh, this is basically going to be a tutorial on how to get started. I think this game out has been out long enough now where most people know how to do this, but if you're new to the game, uh, you can certainly check out what's going on here. Got to punch wood in order to start the crafting process. Okay. All right. Wood, wood, wood. All right. So, what I'd like to do, obviously, is find sheep as quickly as possible, so I can make a little bed. That would be ideal. First, I need to make a crafting bench. So, pop that guy down. Make our first tool. And mine is always going to be pickaxe. I can get under the ground, get some stone, get a stone pickaxe as quickly as possible. Alright, so, the beginning. Gotta try to find some sheep. I'd like to get to a point where I can actually see my surroundings because as you can see I've started in a forest and that's not always great. Looks like there's an ocean biome out there. That's good. Just trope around see if we can listen for sheep. Let's see water. Sheepy sheepy sheepy. Where are you, sheepy? Oh, let's see water over here. Maybe they're hanging out, getting a drink. It's a nice little, looks like a lake here. Got some of that. Get our uh, sugar cane started. Oh, I think I see some sheep already. Excellent. It's not a terrible area. It's kind of small. Oh, sheepy. Did I see a sheep or did I see... Oh, there they are. I see them. I had to punch these guys eight times. Are there three of them? Ooh, I heard a zombie. One, two, three, four. There you go. That will leave me at least one. If I can get two, I can breed them later. Looks like just one. Uh, but this way I can sleep at night. Okay, so we'll throw this guy down. Get ourselves a bed. I know I could color it, but at this point, I really don't care. All right. Let's see if we can't get to some high ground. Got some right near. See what's going on here. Ooh, there's a cave. I'm a little scared at this point. Obviously, I don't have any. Any gear of any kind. So I want to stay clear of the zombies. See if I can't get up here and see what the surround looks like. Oh, more ocean it looks like over there. I like ocean biomes. Ooh, some green grass too. Maybe we got a little town over there. No, no town, but man, that looks nice. Looks like some swamp in the background there. Some plenty of wood. All right, I like this. Uh, for those of you playing along, if you wanted to uh, do the same seed, I actually call this one Mountain Dew. It's M T N space D E W, and I started right at spawn. So if you're uh, spawning in, you should see the same thing. All right, this is not bad at all. So what I like to start doing uh, when I get going is obviously I get some stone pretty quickly and it looks like I've got a cave here. I don't want to get too brave obviously. I think I want to end up making my house. Oh god, that's dark. That's going to be filled with bad guys. Oop, there's some coal. So I can get some coal and some stone. I just need three stone. Like I said, I don't want to go too far in that cave yet. I'm not really prepared for that. 
some stone here. I'm lucky enough to actually get some iron. That would be nice. Right now I can start by making some torches. Light up those caves a little bit. So let's just start with that. Got plenty of wood, so I'm not too terribly worried about conserving coal at this point. Yeah, that's a dead end. A little glitch there. Lighting glitch. Let's see what this side has to offer. I only have 12 torches. Light that up a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on with my lighting here. Ooh, iron. Let's light this up so I don't get anybody sneaking up behind me. And that light glitch is bugging me, yeah. Oh, because it's almost nighttime here. I am not messing around. <clears throat> Straight to bed. Well, that night came on quick. Okay, so. Get in here and get to this iron. Get an iron pickaxe as quickly as possible. Oh, can't do that, obviously, because I don't have <laughs> a stone pick yet. But I can remedy that fairly quickly. Let's use up this guy a little bit. Cool thing about the newer updates, obviously, you can use these uh, wooden items as fuel, so I like that a lot. Oh, go ahead and make our furnace. Because we can. And then pickaxe. Now, obviously, I only need the one, because I will be getting iron fairly quickly here. So, pickaxe. Nice little iron vein here. Excellent. And oh, let's go ahead and do some smelting. Alright, I'll start with just this guy. That'll give us at least one or two. And then got plenty of wood like I said. I'll go ahead and get some of this for fuel. Got a little water here. Obviously water's not going to be a problem. Alright, then we can get our iron pick. Because like, typically what I like to do find an area and start a mine and just dig straight down to level 11 so I can get to lava. I know there are different ways to smelt these days, but I'm still a big fan of the uh, lava bucket for smelting. And there's usually so much lava down on level 11, I can just make a uh, little furnace area down there and it's all good. I didn't see any lava on the surface. I haven't done a lot of exploring, but I didn't see a whole lot. So we have our iron here. We'll go ahead and break these guys. Okay. So let's get back up. Now, I could collect those torches, but why leave dark places if I don't have to? Okay, so let's start on this guy. Let's see where I am, actually. I'm at 69... Minus 220. This seems like a pretty good place. I'm just looking for a place I can start my mine. I like to kind of start centrally. Oh, let's just, just do it. Sugar cane could dig dirt so easily. And hopefully, doing this, I can get to some uh, more iron ore. Oop, looks like we're digging out a little area already. Got a cave down here. So let's get some of that stone ready. Make ourselves some stairs. It's pretty light down there.
fairly lit up to be underground. It's just a lighting glitch. Be sweet to get lava this close to the surface. Oh, I got some iron here. That's good. A little coal would be helpful. Uh, dead end. Excellent. Let's see what we got over here. I'm already out of coal, but I see some right ahead. I gotta brave the darkness here. Ooh, but it's also a dead end, which is pretty nice actually. Not as much danger. I'll dig this thing out real quick. I'm going to use this stone pick. I know it's a little slow, but I'm going to use this as long as I got it anyway. Put a little bit more light here. Get some of that iron there. Only one. Huh. Well, I'll take it. Because we're going down. usually like to do fives. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Like I said, I'll go down as close to 11 as I can get and start listening for lava. torches again. I'll be using a lot of them. Oh, more coal. And I hear zombies. Like I said I'm really on the search for iron right now, so I know where the coal is, I can always come back to it. Goes the stone pick, so I never made the iron pick. <laughs> oh, why didn't you tell me? Okay, I'm sure you were telling me. And I might as well make two of them, but I'll go ahead and just use the one for now. found our zombie cave. So we gotta be careful here. Don't wanna get too cocky. Oh, creeper. Yeah, not the time for you. So I guess he's gonna do a little of our uh, caving for us, maybe? Or maybe I'll just die this quickly, huh? Man, I just don't have anything to fight that guy with. I know I could make a sword right now, but I really don't have anything. Come on, just blow the fucker. Oh yeah, there he goes. Okay. So there's that. And we can fix a little bit of his damage. Looks like there's more down there too. I appear to be into a big old area. Oh, zombie. Have much for you either. Oh, and a creeper too. This is gonna be not good. There you go. Do my work for me. I'll take it. 
Got some iron here. That's good. Another creeper? Jesus. Found a creeper cave. All right. That's fine. Just go ahead and blow yourself up. Okay. Got here. Not terrible. Let's get some of this iron while we're here. That's what we're here for, after all. Being underground is one of those things you don't really know what time of day it is, so occasionally I'll like to pull out the bed and just see if I can sleep. So let's try that. Nope. Not night time. for a while, so I'll get this while I'm at it. Alright. Plenty more to explore, but I don't feel super confident in my... Uh, ooh, is there lava down there? I see light. lava, but it's not a pool. Man, a big old trench here. Alright, so it looks like we're heading that way. While we're here, got a nice bit of iron, or, uh, coal here. So I guess what I want to do is get a uh, little building started, maybe, um, maybe a little house, get something going here. I mean, my goal obviously is to find a uh, skeleton spawner. That's a great way to get XP and safely. Um, get some more iron, get my gear up. When I get down to 11, I can start branch mining. And I promise I won't make you watch all of that. I'll uh, do most of that off camera. But I'll show the techniques. So a lot of people don't know about branch mining, so it's a good way to get diamond. Although in this new version of Minecraft, I found diamond fairly hard to come by. It takes quite a bit of time for me. And maybe I'm doing it wrong if you guys have a suggestion in the comments. I would very much like to hear it. More zombies. Oh, there you go. Some iron. Not a lot. You can see, before too long, I'm not going to have any choice. I'm going to have to come up for air, so to speak. And you know what? It's probably dark outside. I hear a lot of zombies and such. Too many monsters, I thought. And as you can see up there, it looks like it is dark outside. Let's see if this is further away from those monsters. Oh, look at this. Can't stay in bed. Hopefully I don't suffocate when I wake up. Excellent. Okay, so now it's daytime. You know, and while I'm here... Might as well go ahead and cook this food and get some uh, iron smelted as well. So I'll get off camera and I'll be back shortly after that. Okay, so I cooked the food. <clears throat> now I am smel smelting some of this iron here. A little bit of XP. I'm on level 24 and there, there was a ravine right in front of me. So instead of digging straight down from here, I think I'm going to change my plan a little bit. I'm going to go straight across, and I'm going to see what 
what I got in front of me. There's that lava. I'm still pretty high up. Yeah, they're jumping down after me. I don't think he can get to me from here. Okay. Alright, so I'll go ahead and take a break and finish the rest of this smelting here. Be right back. And we're back. Let's see how much iron we have here. Alright, we can save the rest of this for later. Because right now, I'm going to continue to go down a little bit. Cobblestone. Did I... Did I place that cobblestone? I don't think I went that far down. Ooh, there's some of that lava. I gotta be kind of careful here, because I don't want that zombie to get me... To get access to me. I don't want to pour that lava into myself, either. Skeletons! Ooh, there's a lot of skeletons. I wonder if there's a skelly farm around here. Lava is helping me out. Ooh. Lots of skellies. Holy crap. Oh, is that what I think it is? Man, there are way too many skeletons for this to be a random coincidence. Okay, I'm out of here. I think... I think we just got really lucky. I think there's a skeleton farm. So, if that's the case, this is definitely where I want to be. Let's get back up to the surface and see if we can't get a little something established. Man, that'll be awesome. Got some grass here. Do the maintenance. Okay, so this is entrance to the cave. Um, I don't see a whole lot of animals up here. Horses, that's good, but... I haven't seen a village, so saddles might be tough unless I can find a mine shaft. All right, um, man, I really want lava. Okay, let's just start the basics because I want to protect my stuff here. So we'll go ahead and get this guy started again and uh, start cooking the rest of this guy because I am going to need some tools. Let's go ahead and do this then. Let's get our tools up. Go ahead and get an axe. I'm going to need that. Obviously you're going to need another pick or two. Just go ahead and say two. I'm going to need a swad. Get that guy. Um, might as well get a shovel while we're at it and that way we're all decked out. And then some armor. So we'll start with the helmet because I got just the right amount for that. Pop that guy on. Need this F3 right now. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to suit up completely, but we'll have something. And something is most certainly better than nothing. Those skeletons, man. Usually, when there's that many skeletons around, there's a skeleton farm or a skeleton spawner. Um, there's usually one or two, but that was like three or four or five, and they were kind of stacked up back there. So you just kind of got to listen and hear hear the clanking of the bones, so to speak. Okay, seven. Get some bridges. You can see our armor's going up a little bit at a time. Man, I'll have enough for boots. I will not have enough for a chest piece. I'll have to go back down and get some more. But while we're here, uh, while that's cooking, let's go ahead and go get some wood. Got plenty of it across the water here. We'll start clearing a little bit of this out.
I like these birch trees too. Uh, uh, some people may like the big weird looking oak trees, but when you're farming wood, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to have to go digging through there. It takes so long. So I like growing birch. It's just easy to farm. So I'll probably get a couple saplings here. Throw those down on the island. Oh, I hear somebody. Yep. Well, too bad for you. The sun's out, buddy. Chickens around. That's not bad. Heard them. Oh, they're over there. Don't need them right now. Plenty of sheep meat. saplings. Alright, back over. Oh, got a dog. Yeah, some, some of those bones, I can get me a little dog. Alright, so what do we got here? Gives me enough for boots. Alright, and now I can make a chest or two or six alright I know this is a little sloppy don't worry I'm not gonna keep it this way but I gotta have a place to just dump all this garbage things I don't want to lose so to speak because right now I'm just on a digging mission I'll take my food with me okay that should be good so we'll go back down and see if we can't find some more iron. Braid these skeletons. Need to figure out a way to get around them. Maybe I'll go to the left instead. Up toward them. Oh, look at that. Look at the green. You know what that means. That is a farm, and with as many skeletons as there were, that has got to be a skeleton farm. I'm willing to bet. Okay, so it's a little bit below me still. Let's do, and this right here has to be part of that, so let's do this. Oh yeah, it looks like I'm right on the top of it here. We'll find where that ends. Okay, here it is. And let's just, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Man, this is going to be awesome. Hopefully it's not a zombie farm, because that would kind of suck. But, oh, and there's some more iron here need that. Oh, that sounds like bones to me. You know, it's funny, for a long time when I played this game, as soon as I would see a spawner, I would just kill it immediately. And I didn't even consider uh, the implications of what I was doing. I mean, there's so much just easy XP to be gained by making these farms. I want to hear bubbling too. Ooh, look at that. There's the. That's probably the bottom of it. Yep, that's probably the floor. So let's find the edge. Oh, there's probably the edge right there. Okay. Oh, iron. Take that. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to break into the opening because <laughs> they were out. So that means that there's an opening somewhere. The goal is to get in there and to get light inside without getting completely demolished. And I'll need a hiding place, and I don't need them to come out, so... There they are. Oh, Lord, that has got to be... Yeah, took an arrow for that one. Oh, man, how am I going to do this? A little bit of light. Maybe I can get some in on this side. There we go. Yeah, I know you got me. Just a little bit of light at a time. Oh, perfect. Hey, guys. Shoot each other, that'll help me out. Oh yeah, 
Come on. Get some. Don't, no, don't you stay there and shoot me, sucker. <laughs> there you go. A little bit more light. I still hear skeletons. Oh, there's one. I'm over here. Come get me. Oh, shit. No. Before they start spawning again. Oh god. Light, 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 bright light. Oh. Get some food in me real quick. Well, so far so good. What do you got in here? Some string. I can make a bow. Some seeds. It's not terrible. Could be better. Could have been diamonds. Not too picky. Let's close this guy in real quick. Because I do not want his friends showing up. Alright. This is... This is better than I could totally have expected. Man. Okay, so we got... Got an island with a skeleton spawner. This is fantastic. It'll be a minute before I can really uh, use this to its full advantage. Or, uh, but... It's something. It's a start. And I guess with that, I'll uh, go ahead and end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I am Jehovah. If you uh, like this, please give it a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, come back. I'm going to be trying to do as many of these as possible. I do play, uh, obviously if you've seen the channel, I do play War of Rights quite a bit. So uh, I'm going to try to get this little series going as well. So uh, your comments and your suggestions drive me uh, to do this more and more. So if you like what you saw, please come back and give me some feedback. I'd love to hear it, uh, positive and negative, whatever you got. Just if you want to help me out, I'm totally open to your suggestions. So till next time, like I said, I am Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.